<laughs> no, she's a gilf, I'm telling you. You ever got a grime and cranny gum job? Yeah, you've said that on camera now. <laughs> Welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Tonight, I'm joined by Blake from Blake Goes Face. Yes. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! gentlemen? Let's start with Blake. I got hand-trapped. A lot this week. Not by me. Not nearly by me. No, no, that, that was fine. I just got hand-trapped a lot this week. But, Advent, good card. Um, has been fine. I am going to get to the point with you, when you got to Ignisters very soon. Um, I'm just going to get bored. Either give me Master Door content, or I'll just keep playing birds until I can play frogs. Nice to symbol. Yes. I, I changed my list by two cards. So, oh, you? true. Oh, yes. yes. Dig. I want locals. It was good. Fun times. Change your list at all? Or? Uh, yes. So, we've pretty much, me and Lewis have all switched to the Allure of Darkness build. Yeah, it's, you use the Banish, you draw cards. So good. It's such a good build. You get like plus four. Yeah. How many of your lure can you play? Three. Three. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. It's so good. It, it, it like yeah, that's all I can say. Have you I, have you big balls the lure of darkness yet? There's no need. Like ever. <sighs> I want you, you have to a at lot least of dark once, targets. I want you to at least once look at the hand and go, There's no targets here. A lure. Actually, other than hand traps, the only other non um, dark monster in my deck, at least, is fucking <laughs> snow. Same. And even then, if I blind a lure and snow has to go to graveyard, oh no, yeah. whatever will I do? <laughs> there was one point tonight where I could have blind a lure and I was like, it's okay, I'll play it safe. And it, playing it safe was correct. Fair. I just, it was against Luke, he set up, he like rebuilt his board. And I was like, the four spell cards in my hand out that board. Yeah, fair. Cool. I feel already out it. There's no need. Fair call. Yeah. Fair. yeah. What about you? That was it. Yeah, um, what did I do on Sunday? Rebuild? Cool. Yeah, so I did okay on Sunday, but yeah, looking at, like, because I think I versed Lewis at some point on that day, and I was looking at the difference in, like, the card economy between our decks, and I was like, this deck does fucking nothing compared to that. I, I want that. Um, so yeah, also on the little build. Didn't get to pull off that combo at any point during the night. I did uh, it, like, five, five times. I lured Mercurial so often. Fair. So good. You go, like, you draw three. And then just fucking get the material back. <laughs> it's like, cool. Thank you. Um, Free. But yeah, I think I would have done better if I didn't fuck up so badly in our game. Because um, I like half committed to a play, realised it was bad, and by that point it was already too late. Um, but yeah, just thinking more about the process before I commit to something. Um, taking the time to actually think through my plays. Because I thought something would be a good idea, and by the time that I was like halfway through doing, I was like, "Oh no, that's a terrible, terrible Wait idea." Wait a minute. <laughs> um, so yeah, just thinking a little bit more. Um, but new deck, so you know, I said yeah, it's still relatively new. So... We've only had it for like what a week and a bit. Grind it up, yeah. get ready for states. Yeah, which is like a week and a bit away. It's not this Sunday, or next Sunday. Yep. I'll is it Sunday? Sunday? It's a Sunday. Oh, that's really good. Just need to finish in the top fifty. Have you registered? Yeah, I registered before okay. most people by accident. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Again, so on the states thing, before we get into the rest of our discussions, that just wasn't actually announced as to nope. the location. No, uh, it was like the state's best kept secret yeah. for a good th two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Luke at our locals was like, oh yeah guys, so like, now that we've all registered for states, and we're like, the fuck do you mean what registered you for states? About? And he's like, yeah, I registered two weeks ago. It's like, <laughs> Did, Did you, you not listen to anything that we've been saying? <laughs> of like, we have a date, but we don't have a location. He's like, I just thought everyone knew. <laughs> I imagine, like, in my head, because I imagine in my head that everyone in um, New South Wales listens to our podcast. It's true. Um, yes. That, like, 90% of them are like, yeah, I wonder what the hell it is. Why haven't they given us a thing? It's so close. And then the rest of them are like, you guys, you guys are so dumb. You, you are dumb. <laughs> Oh well. Because they had that event up since May 3rd. Yep. But it, like, it didn't come up in my news feed at all. Yep. No, it didn't a either. I followed the page. Like Bowden posted being like, hey guys, this is it. Sure. But I didn't see it. That's how Luke found out. I was uh, like, okay. Well, it'll be cool. I said top 50%. Good pricing. Yeah, so anything um, half or better of the tournament gets an invite. 
It's, so it's Great. 120 player cap. Top 64 get playmats, invites, and sleeves. And world sleeves. Uh, what Do we know the playmat? Uh, it's... Uh, F-Zero? Yes. Uh, Utopic Future. Utopic Draco. Draco Future. Yes. Sure. Big swordy thing. Yeah. Sleeves will be cool. It's a nice blue. It is. Yeah. Yeah. And the mat will be worth, like, what? 80 to 200 bucks? If not Probably, more. Probably, yeah. Depending on how much it's given out over the next couple of I months. I think the Oceanics mat was worth about that at release. But again, you just sit on it and it'll be worth more money later but keep them as a trophy we will yeah, um, we that. will make sure lists are up and stuff like this if you're keen uh, again you want to see the lists from people uh, you've it, seen my list 50 times count as topping states if you're top 64 absolutely it does um, watch at, me get these top topping event lists for the title X4. purpose it does um, but you know if you get your invite you're topped because yeah. everyone in that room is going to get their invite uh, yes 100% of people Yeah. just go and get to an invite there's no chance pretty that, much no, there's no chance half of that place doesn't have an invite already yeah Yep. Uh, so, moving on to news. Um, so, I guess before we get into news news, um, any Master Duel shenanigans going on of late? I'd, I made a video. I'd be ranked for the first time ever because I disconnected three times on the train today. <laughs> You've said... This <laughs> This happens again. Just kept trying. We've spoken about the fact that phone versions are bad. You've oh, tried yeah. doing phone versions at work and you have this problem. Yep. So, why you thought it would work on a moving train? Because I was like... So, I'll have half an hour before I hit the mountains where I have internet. And then I'll get 20 minutes on the other side where I have internet. Uh, turns out I had one stop where I had internet. <laughs> Fantastic. I was like, cool. Got past North Wollongong and it's like, disconnect. And I was like, cool. Fine. Got to like around Coromel and I was like, just give it a shot. Disconnect. I was like, cool. Got to the rule. And it's like, disconnect. It's weird. It must take like, yeah. Can you do any... solo mode on your phone? Uh, it seemed to just be stuck in a loaded loop, so I was like, I'm not going to oh, okay. try. So I was going to say, like, if if you can't play online, that would have been the play. Just do solo mode, grind the gates, get some free shit. Yeah, fair. But no. Oh, well. I made a funny video about Flunders being on Master Door and um, Pingu reacting to Vanity Sentinel <laughs> being at one. So stay tuned for that. It'll be up tomorrow. Did um, you have a rock? Yes. Good. It's, uh, it's Nibiru. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Rock. <laughs> what if Pingu all along was just trying to warn us about Nibiru? I think she would have known that that thing was coming for years prior. Oh, yeah. There's no chance she does. She talks to the rocks. Yeah, she does. They were all like, it's coming. <laughs> they were all shaking. <laughs> they knew. Um, but yeah, on that. Yeah. Nothing. Um. So, yeah, I've been doing Fusion Event, playing <laughs> some fucking awful list. So I didn't want to have to build anything bespoke. So I just sort of whack some random shit into Invoke to compensate for not being able to link summon. It's really bad. Do you just play a fuckload of hand traps? I didn't want to grind, like, um, oh, yeah, pay no. for more hand traps, because, yeah. like, realistically, there should be effect veiler, because the amount of the times I've looked at my hand, I'm like... Effect uh, veiler and ogre. Yeah, that, I've looked at my hand, the amount of times I'm like, I have no light targets, I can't make Macabre. <laughs> and I just end I up, like, sad. sending a Shadol from my hand to make Kaliga, I'm like, well, I can't do much, but neither can you. <laughs> 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 that, that, that's been the best that I can do. Um, other than when I top deck fucking Fusion Destiny. Fine. And they've already ashed my Alistar because they think that that's the play, and then like, haha. <laughs> the yeah. truth is, I could never fusion summon. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on you, Stooge. Um, yeah, and yeah, just been playing that. Um, I've gotten to a point now though where like it gives you just the packs instead of gems, so I stopped. Ugh. Ugh. Nope. I no stopped one. at the instant fusion. Noodle. Yeah. The, the one that does. And that's it. Yeah, that's so disappointing. Um, what pet am I now? Oh, Book of Moon. I have Book of Moon as my pet. Also, it's a lot smaller than I thought. I thought it'd be the same size as Monolith, like quite a big book. But no, it's literally, book. like you have your plaything there. It's like that. Does it just... Um, yeah, so it's laying like that and it goes like... Great. It's as laundry. useless as the card is. Just I mean, it's coming. Already. Actually, oh, that's something else we can discuss. Um, I may as well look it up now because um, we got a whole bunch of them announced that oh, we didn't have before. Live, yeah, yeah, yeah. Live editing on the fly. Here we go. Live. Uh, um, where is it? Here at Cowboy Chicken. <laughs> yes, it is. Only the lo latest breaking news room. The latest breaking <laughs> news. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so. Um, yep, yeah, so I'm going to go through these as I see Great. them. Uh, so we've got uh, Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo. He looks kind of cool. Sure. Just nin oh, okay. ninja doing ninja things. Yeah. Uh, we've got Ghost Trick Lantern, which looks kind of sick. Oh, okay. It, it at least looks cool. Yeah. Yeah, looks good. 
Uh, Trish, as we discussed on the last That's podcast. Cool. That actually large, is cool. Large dragon. Large dragon. Uh, dragon laundry Dude's dragon nice. maid, which we, again, knew already. Uh, scapegoat. Which one? Pink. Do you reckon oh. it multiplies? <gasps> that would be sick. Have we got a description? Uh, no. That, I can't see it doing that. Um, what the for fuck? reasons I don't understand, uh, Noble Arms Caliburn. <laughs> It's a what? stick. One, it's, a it's the sword in the stone, you moron. Sure, it's just a stick. <laughs> stick. Um, we've got Bitron, one of the like Cybers vanillas. Great. He's he's a cute lad. I, I thought I got confused between the one that's an ulti. Oh, Bitron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know that TCG archetype that's exclusive? <laughs> Bitron. What, what the hell? hell? Yeah, this thing. Um Ma Maui interceptor cannons. That it's like one of those flip monsters. Great. Boop, 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 boop. Um, we've got shard of greed. Oh, Literally oh. just a broken Great. pot of greed. Sure. But what has it, it have taken him so long to code oh, that? Oh, that one's sick. Um, Diddy -Di -Di ghost or Diddy -Di ghost. It's like crystal with a cat in it. Oh yes, yes, yes. Very good in Diddy. Marshmallow, which yes, they fucked king. up. They fucked oh. it up. They've got teeth on it. Oh, yo, what? Like, I realise that thematically it's supposed to have teeth on it, but, like, yeah, I don't, I don't like that. That looks weird. I don't like it. They fucked it. I don't yeah. like it. Yeah. Karibo. Big Karibo. That, that makes sense. Uh, Toon Dark Magician. Sure. Makes sense again. That's um, fine. Elemental Hero Stratos. So all the Elemental Hero. And Salamon Great Gazelle. Ew. There are and, uh, yeah, there's heaps. And White Baking. Uh, it's Skull Serpents. Like, skull Serpents. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's cool. So yeah, some really cool ones coming up. Um, I don't know how you'll get them all. Whether like, well, some will be purchased, some will be earn it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I'd just rather them all just be purchased now. It just saves time. I don't have anything I need to spend my gems on. Let me let me uh, spend open money packs for time. to grind. Yeah. But yeah. yeah fair. Moving on to the news. Um, the so news. it is about the timing that we hope a ban list is coming. Um, although we are in sort of limbo in that respect. Um, is this but... the news portion or is this the ban list portion? Well, it's the ban list portion. Do we have news? Not a lot. No. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> uh, we have made some predictions, um, which I believe will be noted down by a mysterious source. Oh, I wouldn't if I would. Don't bother with mine. I mean, no, you no, can. No. Point score. You point got, score. Got yes, yes. Point score system. Point score. Aiming for the, have, the have highest we, negative. Have we locked in a point yes. system? So it's okay. plus two if you guess a card correctly. Plus one if you guess a card that's on the list but you got the spot wrong. Okay. Minus one for every card that's on the list that you don't get. And minus one for every card you can put on your list but also don't get. Oh, so I'm going minus 50. Got it. Oh, yeah. You're going to be well yes. down. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, so mine are as follows. Okay. Oh, I hope okay. he's in the bottom of the frame now. Hopefully he is. Should be. <laughs> All right. So for my bands, I have Artifact Scythe. Hey, my man. Uh, Harpy's Featherstorm. No. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, Verte yeah. Anaconda. My man. And Predator Plant. Um, no, Predator Plant. What the fuck's it called? Prank Kids Meow Meow. Oh! Wow. Okay. Sure. Uh, then we move on to limits. I feel um, like we need to do this section by section because no, it's going to be no, too much to talk about. Thing. We um, can go back through it, I guess. Yeah. Uh, limits, Harp Horror. <laughs> yeah, sure, man. Uh, Nightmare Goblin. Okay. And Monkey Boy. Oh! Okay. Um, uh, Nightmare Goblin, these nuts, is the one that gives you the second normal, right? Correct. Cool. And your code link things can't be tugged. Yes. Busted. Fair. Link two? Yep. Link dose? Point sideways. Wait, heart, monkey, ball, goblin? Yep. Um, there was... F oh, yeah, three. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Um, semi-limits? Um, I had quite a few of these, despite the TCG hating mm -hmm. them. Um, <laughs> Lunar Light Tiger? Oh, don't complain about um, mine. You we haven't... can just copy-paste these links, to, uh, these lists to you if you want. No, oh, he's yeah. he's committed to the bit now. Oh, sure? We're going to have it on display in the house until the band this drops. Um, so Lunar Light Tiger, uh, Danger Jackalope, um, mm. Phantom Sky Blaster. Okay. I don't know what that is. It's the thing you summon and it generates tokens. It's the one card oh, it's, yeah. It used to be. Yeah. Um, we have Astrograph Sorcerer to two, mm -hmm. uh, Gold Sarcophagus to two, mm -hmm. and Rite of Aramisia to two. Mm -hmm. um, and then Unlimited, I have Scapegoat and Hero Lives. Fair. Mine Jake's Lives look reasonably similar. Mine and Jake's Lives look reasonably yeah. similar. 
I have some other stuff that I would like, but there is, I, I will save a couple of things because it's really funny where our brains went. So was um, there anything egregious, anything so, controversial? Um, Harpoor Har- 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 1 that's a Jake is ridiculous. Card. Like, but Realistically, if Harp came back, do what does it do? Full Wait, hold on. Out of those three armed bands, Harp's the one you're going to go after. No, no, no. Goblin, <laughs> Goblin, Goblin, Goblin is Goblin's actually the, the out problem. there one. But Goblin's the Harp. actual Okay, so here's the thing. I don't think that even with the current carpool, a double summon for Link decks is that terrible. If you think about like the format that it was in, Goblin wasn't actually the problem. It was Borrel, whatever the fuck it was, Gumbla, motherfucker, Gumbler, yeah. pitching your hand and Ibly Link. Sure. You can't get to Italy Link unless you hard draw it because uh, Mermaid's still banned and Gumblar's still banned. So all you're doing is setting up a Trigate board, maybe doing a U Link, but again, no one Link summons unless they really, really have to, so it doesn't matter. In Infernoble, you can normal summon your regular normal summon, you can normal summon out again, mate. Okay. I guess let Infernoble do things. I don't like the way that deck functions and what it wants to do, but combo decks. I guess have their place and yeah, this will give them a little bit more hope it's very degenerate for a lot of combo decks it and it is. is like I've done full combo but I opened my second starter normal summon my second starter <laughs> full combo again I guess it'll lead to a lot of like I hand trap the right thing like if, I don't care if goblin comes back you would need both halk and a soul day band which people are calling for and have called for for ages anyway. It was fine. Assault no probably, Assault, Assault Assault probably needed to be in the bin way long ago Assault and it didn't. the biggest problem probably with Nightmare if Goblin yeah. back because it's just Warriors are good for normal summon plus um, extender. Do we want to just like go if we if our lists are looking close should we just go onto more lists and then just do the whole yeah, thing? Yeah, fire away. I'll go because yeah. Um, so for bands I have Scythe and Anaconda. What was your third band? Uh, it, I had four. No. I had four bands. Yeah, four bands. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Scythe, Featherstorm, Verte, Meow Mew. Featherstorm, Meow Mew. I probably don't agree with the Meow Mew one, but the Featherstorm I get, it is, it's Scythe-esque effect that needs to not be in the game. Um, it's just, again, allowing these decks to like not, but I'm just Anaconda and Scythe. Limits, uh, Water Enchantress. I wanted to hit Brave somewhere. Already um. To one, though. Prank Kid, Dodo. Like... I think the deck is okay. I actually don't want to hit prank the prank side of it that much. Dodo's like 50-50 for me. It's just I kind of want to leave that deck as powerful as it is versus branded. I have Shifty to 1. It needs to not be a thing. Um, even playing the deck. Harpy's Featherstorm is a good example of this where like you're not going to see that that often. But when you do, it's horrible and shouldn't be in the game and very uninteractive. So I was like, uh, uh, I want to put Skill Drain back to 1. Fuck that shit. Don't let people do that stuff. Put skill drain back to one. It went to three, and I don't think anyone gives two fucks. I know, but I'm just like, just I don't want to run into one. I don't want that kind of thing. Um, I have monkey board at one. I don't know how we've both done this, but I do have monkey it's board not at one. one. On my list. Um, it's uh, the last pendulum left aside, aside from plush fire. I had plush fire in brackets if like a like, one or the other. Like deal. a, you could do one or the other, but I want my I'm monkey board. I wrote down. I think monkey board's the correct one. Uh, it would be cool to see Pendulums do some stuff again. Um, I have Spellbook of Judgment to one. I thought about that, but then I it's thought through the fr- effect. I thought from memory, it's end phase, correct? It is end phase. So I don't care. Do your thing. Go off. So here's the thing. I always assumed that it was spell books you had to activate, and then you got to summon. It's just spells. Yeah, you that just... is far too broken. Uh, what are you gonna do? You like off it. huh? Skycracker. <laughs> You can summon yeah. ja- you do summon Jalgen, yes. Yes. Yeah. You summon Jalgen and then like you oh. when I play in Sky Striker, activate a bunch of spells in your opponent's turn, and then Jalgen them on their board and in face. Man, actually strikers are great. I'm saying spellbook to one. Fuck him. Um but yes, I also have Zen Mighty to one, please. Let me hand loop you. <laughs> Zen Mighty to one. Be- you can take away Hunter if you want. Give me Zen Mighty. I want to link combo with my stuff. That is my one and only... Actually, I have one other one that's kind of wish list. Um, semi-limits. Uh, I should have had more. I don't. Uh, I just literally... I'm just... My semi-limits are just cleaning up the ban list a little bit. Uh, Tenki. Um, Tenki to two. Is it one, right? Yeah, we're yeah. still in the format where Tenki is good. 
What plays Tanky? Um, just saying this. Not that we would, but Tanky can search Mercurio, can't it? Oh no, because it's only beast. beast. Yeah, it's Beast. What warrior, can Tanky? Right? What I haven't seen Tanky play. Brigade, bro. Sure, yeah. they don't they're, play. They're it. dead. They're dead in a the hole. They're, they're, Let them do a thing. They're, they're only because dead because Tanky's at one, and all the other shit the, is all like all the consistency shit's been hit. Sure. Give so them one. Wanna... I don't care. It only just happened. I don't care. It's been... A, it, there is other decks, especially like tier 2, 3 decks that can use this way more than them and we don't care about them. We outpace them and outpower them 10 times. It's okay. Look, you can want like it, but this is us. a prediction. Yes. Man. I'm saying we need to bring stuff from one and fuck it up. Like, bring it up. That's why I have Gold Suck as well and I have Pancratops. Pancratops is a fine cyborg card. Does lead to some degenerate shit sometimes, but I think it's fine. Do you feel um, like he's just picked cards that like he thinks can come back because of the way his deck plays? Yes. He's like, you can't summon two pank anyway. <laughs> I don't think I play pank. He also has turned around and said we need to hit no, no, not cards that you would... gold sucker too. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's whatever. Oh, I'm missing gold sucker too. Yes, gold suck, please. Um, I think gold suck back to two. Ugh. Who cares? Like, I the guess deck fun that to abused play it. it isn't playable in the way that it was because it was yeah. Thunder Dragon. But yes. then we have other stuff to abuse it. And I was gonna. I, yeah, is Gold Suck not in Branded? Uh, I play my build, they don't in this. Yeah. I play Foolish instead, does the same thing. I play both. Oh. And that way you're. Would um, you play both? Hmm? Would you play both? No. Oh. I, play I, both. I only play two tragedies, so I don't want to be banishing it. Yeah, no. Nah. Well, I banish the Mercurial. I'll play three. Because the Mercurial can come back. Yeah, so you banish the Mercurial. Yeah, no. It's just. It, it, gold, gold sucking mercurial just adds mercurial to your hand and you draw a card. Yeah, but no. Yeah, <laughs> like you could, and I, that's the kind of stuff I'm like. I think uh, look, if you're gonna do it, do it. That the, the same with pancratops, like gonna be real. Pancratops, real good, really good sideboard card. Yes, it's a really good sideboard card. I think it's fine. It's it's, it's it baits in the gate, or. It, if you don't have a monster in the gate, it kills a thing. I'm happy with that. If you're going to play it, and then it's a card that if you see later on, it's fucked. You it's... do not want to see it. So I'm like, cool, do so your thing. In that hypothetical situation where you said it's plus one, it's actually a plus two. Because it's 2600 no, it's beta, you attack over and then you pop something else. Sure, no, I, I don't mean it's plus one. But like, yeah, sure. If you, but if you're going to go into your battle phase, yeah. swing, well, which means... it's a plus one because you... You go minus off the board. Yeah, don't yeah. yeah. But I'm like, if you're gonna use your battle phase to swing into something and then pop a thing and then in main phase two, do fine. I mean, no if you don't have a monster to negate, you're just gonna go full fucking combo anyway. Yeah. You're just gonna summon it and then go full combo. Sure. And I'm, I think that's fine. I, I think it's just a very solid card that we could use because we need to break boards a little better than we are right now. I, think I don't think going. Fun. I think going second is really, really, really bad in this current game. Yeah. It's like I there is great hand traps. That's a put shifty to one, but. I, I think going second is really uneven right now. So I'm like, let's bring back a couple things. Speaking of doing that, I have three... Um, I'm going to call them consistency cards coming off. Uh, I've spoken about this many a time. Desire's back to three. Fuck you. I, I'm over it. Um, terraforming to three and upstart to three. The reason I have these... So it's very specific, This man right? is insane. No, no, it's very specific, <laughs> right? It's very, 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 very specific. If you are going to do this, I want the game to be as consistent as possible and not as high as possible. I want... If we're going to have Branded, we're going to have fucking Prank going nuts, we're going to have potentially Splat in fucking August, let decks do their full thing, always. Don't have decks sometimes do their full thing and you lose because you didn't. I want every deck to be as consistent as humanly possible. So here's the problem with that wall that you're living in. Yes. You win the die roll, you've won the duel. No, because I have st I've specifically put better going second cards off this list. You put Pank 2. Yeah, but there's other stuff here that I haven't revealed yet. <laughs> what? Don't, don't worry Pank, about it. You're so deep! I know! Um, it's a thick list. <laughs> the other... the uh, I, I, I hear it lives. Um, back mm -hmm. to three. Who cares? The so, other big one. The one to three that's actually going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Here's the other one that I'm like, this is the by the wish list. Is Maxi to three. Ah, I want go. to see. Ma I I only only because I don't know if it'll be good. I don't know if it'll be bad. I just want to see what happens if we have that to check the format. If it's fucking atrocious, it's fucking atrocious. Fair cop. I'll I'll cop that. But 
I don't want to live in a world where, like, we just let people No, do the that world you want to live in is 2016. No, no, it's full <laughs> consistency. Give everyone full consistency. Don't have decks that are so good that if you give them consistency, they lock you out Why of the game. Why do you have Rotor at three? I do. At three? Yeah. You said terraforming... Oh, I don't! I meant to write it down. I've been wrong. I should have had Rotor at three. Yes. Oh, so it's, warrior, it's warrior stuff though. <laughs> I have one more card at three. Oh one more. God. Grass. <laughs> at three I want grass with at a three. 40 minute hard timer. That's fine. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's a really fair you point. You can't have grass at three. That's a really fair point. Because TCG players are really fucking slow and really degenerate. Yeah. In the OCG, they're probably nice. They're probably that's... Like, activate grass. This is my combo lines. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. In the TCG, it's activate grass. I'm going to do like a 50 minute combo now that burns for 600. That's really fair. I just really liked the period of time. I, I wasn't even playing during that, but I liked the period of time we went through where we had three or four different mechanics decks. We're like, okay, this is my 60 card deck. There is some combos in it. Let me try and open grass. Do a cool thing. You see that your opponent's playing 60 cards. You know about what they're going to play. You have to do your combo in a way that doesn't take too many cards out of the deck. I like that style of game. So, and if you give them one, if you give them one or two, I feel like it becomes, did you see it? Fuck. I feel like giving them, like, we've just, we've passed that time. Like, like he said, there's no feasible way yeah that, that that type of deck just wouldn't get abused also the people that were playing it fucking sucked i hated people that played those decks uh, you, yeah but also like that wcq we had in america with height combo format with grass was like really good players playing fucking yeah. amazing decks like playing out of their minds no because they were just playing paleo <laughs> no they were playing like zoo combo and shit and like 60 card with Infernoids. There was Zoonoids, Lairnoids, yeah. fucking... There was a bunch of cool yes, shit to but see. Your options were Infernoid, Paleo, or Zoo. Yeah, which I'm okay with because they were the only options could that we could at the time. Thing as well, but yeah. yeah. But like, I'm just, fine yeah, with I'm having those mechanics decks in the game, except for the fact that you're correct. People would sit there for like, they would do one action and go, hmm. One action, hmm. Oh, sorry, man. I've just got. I've got so many lines, you know, I'm just trying to work this out. And they'll do this one. Also, Snow and Judy. He's just describing Logan. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, yeah. true! Sounds yeah, bitch. Wants grass. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's Logan. Describing Logan right now. It's here. Logan. <laughs> Shit. Fair cop. My bad. Yeah, that's my bad. No more Logans. All right. Yeah. Enough of this. This. My band list is pretty straightforward. Nice and straightforward. Uh, band. Scythe and Yam Yam Yu. Wow, you, you guys are Meow fucking well. killing prank. I'm going Meow 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 as well. It's simply <sighs> Fuck me. just an unfair card. For the resource advantage that one normal summon gets you in that deck, it's simply an unfair card. Uh, I can, if it's not, if it doesn't happen, Doodle Doodle has to go to one. There is, that is your only options because really? that then shuts down the ability for them to loop back on their turn and end on the pranks. Yeah. So it has to be one or the other. Um, so Scythe, Meow Meow Meow, that's it for my bands. Uh, limited... Destiny Fusion. Fusion Destiny. That's it. Oh, so, so you don't you that. don't hit Anaconda. Oh, Anaconda. Yeah, 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 you yeah. say, okay, yep. you've used it. Yep. That's it. So in essentially in branded, you're not using Verte. Like not many people are using Verte at all. Yeah. So you can fuck that right off. I am using Verte turn three, turn five, when the snow's coming back and then you go into shit. That's cute. It's a cute play. Um but yeah. It's not really going to see that much use in the current format. So, yeah. Fusion Destiny to one instead. It's um, at two, currently? It just got put to two? Yep. Yeah. I think it's just going to work its way down. So you just go... Yep. Shot. Uh, semi-limited. I have Astrograph Sorcerer. Yeah. Ooh. That might, that should have been there, but I got scared. And the card that I have... Oh, no. Uh, the other card is uh, the, the monster. It's Water Enchantress. Two, two? Yeah. Fine. Yep. Water Enchantress is the correct hit out of the two of them. I agree. Uh, because Rats of Armas is the brick, but I would consider out of both of them. That's just me, though. Enchantress is more accessible. You can foolish it. You can do whatever you want. Uh, and then my unlimits are Salamangrate Circle, Scapegoat, 
and the hero lives. Yeah. Aren't these are quite similar, except I've gone a bit more. I I also needed to put scapegoat there. I just completely yeah. forgot that it was even on the fucking list, to be honest. I think my list is perfectly reasonable and perfectly straightforward. I think it's very much a scale of like man trying to get the points, which I respect. It's like very reasonable, likely to happen. Mine, there's some, some wild cards lists. in there. You have lost your mind. No, here's the thing, though. I did include the correct cards. This is my thing. I wanted to include the cards that I think, yeah. I'm very curious as to, like, the the need to put Brank Brave, Prank Brave, like, down multiple pegs. Like, I... Time. Sure, but what we're saying to that is it's branded the game now. Until August, so- September... But Prank Brave didn't get proper YCS. It didn't get a YCS. And, like, what's the other deck option? It got a remote to YCS. Sword Soul. Yeah. Sword Soul, which Based. actually has a very good matchup against it. Which Based, is great. which doesn't matter what you throw at it. It keeps going. Which Wondering, nobody's playing which anymore. you can't Dark, fusion right, summon. Relax. Relax. Don't put us up there. I'd love you to. Don't put us up there. Man, we saw that like we it suck. wasn't the direct competitor to brand it in the OCG. It's how it played out, bro. That's so it, weird. It was a two-deck format. Wow. Fuck yeah. yeah. No, that's two day format again, Maxi. And and they have um, they have mani- uh, I mean, vanity or like, macro, right? It's, it's a two deck format. Let's give it more. <laughs> no, no, no. What I'm saying is that like, there's a reason it's a two deck format. Whereas we have, Sword Soul has a disgustingly good matchup versus Flunder. Yep. Do we have sword? Do we have Sword Soul at full power in the OCG at the time? I don't think we did. I didn't see it anywhere on it, any uh pie graph at all. In saying that, no, all I did look through was a couple pie graphs. No, it just sort of vanished over there. It, they got they get too stuck into the weeds with the synchro stuff, in my opinion. And since they always have they always had Dan Long over there, they've been on those lines. I'm like over here, we came up with just the stock standard. Make Protoss. Yeah, my thing is branded right now is good, but it's not cracked out of its mind, and I think we leave it there. Exactly. Like have the things that ch- don't hit everything else, no, and then good. say. Oh, we're not going to expect Brandon to do 18 out of 32. To be fair, I could very much see Konami just rolling out and being like, Scythe banned, these cards went to three, goodbye. That, and, that, and I genuinely think that's okay. Because the format right now isn't atrocious. It's just, you need Scythe, maybe even Feather Duster, and you just need that, like, don't do that, please. Yeah, the turn skip cards need to go so that other people can play. So we can sell more turn skip cards. It's true. Yeah. You say this like D Baz isn't a like, straight strength skip for Sword Soul fucking time. like but the, the, yeah. There, there is stuff that exists others. which I think is the like, you know. But the thing is that goes for both sides though. Yeah. Like it, Scythe is literally just like, no no, you can't do anything. Same with Featherstorm. You can't do anything. So D Baz. Neither player can. D Baz is we can't do anything. You can set your high defense monster and they can never attack you. What D Deep- I mean, I'm, just, I'm just calling Synchro, perfect. they're passing turn, I'm killing them. Yeah, in Branded though, in the mirror, if you side in the 1D area, you activate it and you call Fusion, but you have to have done all your plays first. I see what you're saying. You have to basically like, try turn and skips, cripple them. Turn skips do exist for other decks that aren't just these. Yeah. Like, turn skips aren't out of the game if we ban Scythe and Feather Dust style. Yep, turn skips aren't searchable. Which one's searchable? Oh, yeah, Scythe, of course. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 fair, 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 fair. fair. Searchable time skips are the problem. Yes. Searchable time skips fill the ban list. Yes, 100%. Yeah. I just don't see a reason for, like, sure, look, make the argument. We're not seeing PK. We're not seeing the decks that are like, yeah, I don't those give cards a shit. Are in prank kids now. Yeah, exactly right. They, yeah. they, people will find a way to put those cards into anything they can because of how disgustingly broken they are. Yes. Just leave them be. Like, there's no need to have them. I guess does that wrap us up here for our bandless predictions? That's, yeah, yeah brag, well, brags. Yes. So, uh, Verte and Scythe. Pretty sure Verte's time is up. Uh, Your time is up. Our time is now. I have Maxi going to one. Well, I think the Master Jewel stuff is going to get to him, but also Konami doesn't have brain. Obviously, they should put it to three, but this is Konami. Oh, okay, Maxi fair, fair enough. Fair enough. I don't know. Brags in frame for his look at the camera. Um, Maxi to one. Yes, I. That, yeah. Uh, Allure to one. There's no way this craziness will continue. That, that is that, valid. That do you, do you think that's their pre-hit? They're like, wait, relax. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get, that's I interesting. I don't know if the build is prevalent enough. Interesting. Like, no, no, if, no. If you go get part, your branded then... openings. That's the only way. None of this. It, None of this. Play pure. Play pure. If at YCS Hartford, 
the allure builders everywhere and it destroys everything. Yep. Uh, my brain are bad. Instant fusion currently a one. Yes. Yes. To two. Yeah, it's Norton's band. It doesn't fucking matter. I'll put it to three. Well, I don't know why I didn't see instant fusion on the pendulum. I, I that, new, that new pendulum has a starlight. There has to be something. Yeah. Well, that was the next so, bit of news, and you just... Oh, God! Oh, no, dear it's called a good God. segue, Jake! No, that's fine. No, because he's not This done. man's a segue king! I anyway. And a hero is. <laughs> to three. Yes. Okay. So. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, because heroes this, are yet to have this, a proper negate. Seg- we gotta wrap this segment. So, make sure, like you've already done, go down to the description below and tell us that we're wrong and that we're complete idiots and that I'm wrong like I am every time, but half the time I'm normally right. Put your list in there. Put your list down there. Join the Discord. Come to the description come, down below. Come to the podcast video so you can find out what the starlight we're about to talk about is. Yes. yes. Go and find the rest <laughs> of the news. Speaking of news, speaking we're of, back into the we news. have the remainder of starlights have been starlights. announced. Starlights, thanks, Jake. We still filming. Yeah. Cool. Man's gonna try and adjust the camera. What are you doing? Locked. Just leave it. It's, it's actually really good now. It's it, yeah, it actually fits. Yeah, it was well. good when you were out of frame. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, we knew Therion, uh, King Regulus. Si. We knew Alba Lanantis, the Abyss Dragon. We knew Exorcista Magnifica. We Correct. knew Ghost Bell Haunted Mansion. What we didn't know was the uh, Fusion Pendulum card, which we absolutely trashed, is also a Starlight. It sucks. Yes. Uh, it does. Patisel Coverture um, Why is, it not is a Starlight. Card? It's a great question. Why is it a starlight? Is a better question. Because um, that's the one you're going to pull. You're going to go, oh. No, there has to be something. They're cooking up something. No, they're not. That You know what that is? Is that meant to be some shitty pun because she's in the kitchen? Because if it is, go fuck yourself. No, no, I genuinely mean. That, do, Jake, do you know what that is? That's snow. That is the snow. Yeah, that's not even snow. No, that's going to be. I got that's it. Oh my god, it's a, it's a seventy dollars starlight set. Ah, oh, this is so. That's eight. significantly so, more usable than snow. So I the only it, claim to fame this card has is that it's the first world premiere premiere card to be a starlight. You know what would have been a better world premiere card to make a starlight? Anything else? Sea Monster Theseus. Yeah. Back in 2017, yeah. would have been great. This should the be most this powerful, The most it. powerful card of 2017. Yeah. Well, and we only just got the. I mean, not only. Apparently, it's been a few months. But, I mean, if they made that a, like a vanilla, this might have been a little tad better. A pendulum monster you can get for free it was pretty cool. It's so bad. Why? I'm, I'm yet well, to see. Like, why have they done this? Well, they're going to be they're going to do another scale in the next pack, and they're just going to slowly leak these out. There's just going to be more women cooking things, <laughs> and they're all pendulum fusions. fusions yeah, remember they, to vote, Ben. Ben, they fused with the kitchen. Hmm. <laughs> Dear Lord. <laughs> Moving right along. Oh, you can um, use the oh, stick in the chair do, to actually, go into them. Before we do, actually, a quick um, side note. Um, they've had one of those instances in America yet again where they've just <sighs> thrown starlights at them. Boxes have had multiple starlights in them. Pa- but m- multiple have had yeah, multiple I was gonna starlights. Say, it's pretty funny. Multiple is an under-exaggeration. Of in under- the UK, like the EU printings, our printing area is, oh, there's a massive line and it's terribly centred. In the US, it's <laughs> like, we have given you a box of money. <laughs> Just straight money. <laughs> We've given you money. The other people are now poor. <laughs> it's too bad. The vendors USA. who are relying on Starlights USA. to open their packs, they're not getting them. Because you've got all of them, sir. <laughs> you know for a fact that means there are a bunch that don't have any Starlights. Yeah. You're now the vendor that's left. <laughs> So, the Speaking funny of... thing that I've found about that as well is that they fully announced it, like, did videos and the, like, it's like a mad flex. I wouldn't have said a goddamn thing. No, you keep say that shit on the wraps. And just, this is my stock. I have, I have some. Honestly, Message you me. just circul- circulate the, like, posts amongst five people. <laughs> yes. They post the... one at a time. Yeah, five top people and be like, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Here's, here's, uh, I got, oh, I pulled one, sick. Oh, I pulled, I pulled Whereas these guys wanted like 10 minutes of clout, so they're like, yo, look at all this shit. Like the and then you offer them the literally $2. Too. The video would have only the made terrible. them. Oh, it was on, went up on your scenes channel? Yeah, I think so. You say he got 30, 40,000 views on that. Right. That's made him. At absolute most, that video is going to make him like 500 bucks. Great. That's, that's one That's bell. like theoretical maximum. 
Great, that's one star. Crashing right. the value of yeah. the cards he pulled. Yeah. Well, I don't think it was his cards. Stocks. But yeah. Well, but, yeah, if they're not his cards, even better than that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, yeah. He, he made the final profit the value of and these the dudes and he gone. got 500 bucks. Also, it, it's just micro complacency. Um, up the rarity of ghosts as well. Why? What are they fucking doing with their product? Up the rarity, down the rarity, what? They up the rarity of ghosts in fucking Ghosts from the Past 2. And we pulled none of them. Oh, oh yeah, no, three no, display you cases. You up the rarity, I think you made it more difficult. Oh, sorry, no, sorry. Easier, uh, up, opened, the, up the pull rate, excuse me. We opened the displays and got nothing. Literally Fuck nothing. All. Three displays, zero ghosts. Yeah. Thank you, product uh, quality assurance. Thank you. you there is no e- guarantee the- as to the contents rarity of your box. Please direct your complaints that you did not receive any secret resin or maximum crisis to your current OTS. OTS, and too bad. Yes. Did you at least get a lubus in the cases? Nope. There was what? one. No, that's one not three. true at all. I only saw one pool, total. Then you didn't see enough. There Luke were... had his that he ordered online. Hmm? Like his... Thing. Uh, Tom pulled one. Yeah. Lewis Celeste... pulled one. Yeah. Celeste pulled one. Celeste bought one. So let's bought one. It was a weird. Well, apparently, if, that was well, a weird she, situation. Well, if she bought one, then someone else pulled one, because was that Lewis one? Lewis bought the one that Tom pulled. Why did so Lewis buy one? He got a free one. He didn't know that he'd pulled it until after he bought it. <laughs> uh, he didn't know he pulled the free one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. Fair. King. Um, Lewis is a thief confirmed. <laughs> he's Italian. <laughs> Fuck, bro. Fair cop. I wish to apologise to all of our Italian viewers right now. Yep, for the, all of them. The words that Jake has just currently said. He's only saying this on camera. Um, He's the biggest racist on the table. No, please do True. remember that if you are in Italy and you were offended by this, go to your house in France. Shout out Marcel. Shout out Big Up. Big Up. Big Up, my, my big man. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. okay. So, OTS. yes, OTS 19. So, you already know that it has the Ulti Fallen of Albaz, uh, which I'm sure will be a very chaste card. Uh, in will terms it? of, oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, how many do you play? Two. Fair. Yeah. That would be uh, 130, 40 bucks. How many do you play of the other Starlights that we currently have? Oh, it's Ghost Ultimates. The ghost <laughs> Ultimates? Man, that was Ultimate text. Ghost! <laughs> that was, uh, that was even sometimes more than Jake. I'm enjoying getting ulties from this uh, from this story. Are you? They look pretty cool. I was especially a fan of Ecclesia. Ecclesia was a good ulti. Yeah, it yeah. was. It was a good ult. Uh, no, it. Nah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with I'm with Val on that one. Who cares? Have you played it? I'm sure you. I haven't mine. played. I've got the playset. I haven't. Sure. Pl- I haven't played that deck since right. um, since Nadir went to two. Man, that's weird. Maybe it wasn't the best ulti slot. Anyway, it was. But what about that one Zeus you playing? Yep, and I sold. Two fusion destiny. I, I sold both my Zeus's immediately. It was like all three old pieces. Oh, did I say fusion destiny to three? No, <laughs> I don't know. Well, you want to back at three because yeah. you put out Vertex going to zero. The OCG Vertex banned and fusion destiny's at one. <laughs> oh, yeah, they went. No, no fusion destiny's just banned now as well. I think. I don't know if it's banned. I don't know either. I don't know. It's that question. Anyway, come back. Um, yeah, but unfortunately, um, as uh, excited as some people are to get this set, uh, we don't uh, get it at the date we're supposed Rock to. Rock delays. Do, 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 do. So it was meant to be coming we this make theme? Friday, yeah. effectively, and now it's been pushed back another two weeks, I think, to oh. like early June. That's not what I got told. Literally like two hours before we came here. Where, you get, where are we getting that? Middle of June. Yeah, oh. that sounds right. Okay. So again, falls into that bracket of... If you can send it to you YouTubers early to open, get OTS send it Jake, are you implying that some people get OTS? Stop attacking me! I'm attacking Konami. We need to be a front here, okay? Yes, we, uh, joint attack, united front. No. Yes, uh, reckless attack. What's the trap? Oh. Don't attack the billion dollar corporation. Thanks, Bragg. I want to play Pachinko. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get sponsored. Can we be one of those YouTubers that they send? No, we can't. Do you know why? Because they are racist against Australians. Yeah, we live in a country where they're like, no, I don't think we can get that product there in time. No, we couldn't possibly uh, plan Send ahead. it early. Um... Someone's breaking into the toast factory. <laughs> toast factory. <laughs> Damn it! I knew you were toast. <laughs> the uh, alarm's going off at the toast factory. I hope those toast security guards are ready for a fight. Man, it's going ham. Fair cop. Ham on toast. 
Ham on toast is pretty good. Choose ham, happy days. Yeah. With you, wouldn't, you wouldn't just yeah. have ham on toast, though. Why not? Oh, I've been desperate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you also don't put butter with your Vegemite. You're a hey, fucking hey, monster. Yeah, yeah, you, you are a monster. Here. You are a monster. That's if fair. I'm eating my Vegemite with cheese, I don't use butter. Yeah, you've brought this up. I like my. I'll give that pass. What is cheese but thick butter? Exactly. Just a layer of butter. Thick is not. I would say hard butter. <laughs> yeah, erect butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one. We move. Continue. We move right to the fuck on to questions. Oh, so, um, <laughs> right. thank you, community. I can't help people. Bragg does in fact hate the community. It's it's confirmed. So we get I'm taking uh, my whiteboard. <laughs> yeah. You would. Didn't get a blackboard, you racist. Yep. Oh, oh, no. I was right there with you. I was like, mm, yeah, you would. <laughs> hey, yo. This has been a spicy episode. We're really tired, I'm sorry. It this has been a... This has been a... Um... So anyway, we do get asked a bunch of questions in our Discord. Uh, if you aren't already, the link is in the description. Feel free to join, ask us questions, say hi. A uh, bunch of cool lads to chat to in there. Um, they ask us questions such as uh, Metalhead3194 Big ups uh, Hello from the US I actually have oh, two sorry. questions I've been playing Yugi again solely because of Master Like we've brought The up pipeline here. Yeah, exactly, the pipeline um, And was wondering your opinion If it's worth playing It is as an alternative to the TCG Since the game is so expensive as a whole uh, The other question is Why the hell do your Magic players sound like a straight up dickhead? <laughs> I'm going to say something on the second point. Um, to date, I have seen, not from any particular store, I've heard many <laughs> stories of a bunch of different ones from Sydney all the way down here. I've only heard about Magic players being banned in my however long of playing card games, except one that I can remember Yu-Gi-Oh! player. Um, so I, it's like 10 to 1. It's funny you mention that because the question goes on after that. Oh, Maybe it's in the shop I worked at. Um, where I lived, but more, it's a more friendly rivalry between players of both games with quite a few people who play both. So in his store, it's just everyone's playing their own games at their own times. Um, there's a bit of crossover, but everyone's mm. chill. Um, but yeah, it seems in a, in Australia at least that Magic players suck. <laughs> it's it's look, I've met plenty of great people throughout. It just is a it is more of a case of the good magic players I've met kind of come in with their own crew and then leave with their own crew it's like they come in as their friend group they play they leave and I'm like hey, yeah you so guys they know cool. that the people in X pod are shit so they yeah, just make their own yeah pod. they kind of just are a bunch of lads or like some friends and they're like hanging out and they're like cool bye bye I think it is also a case of like the review kind of thing where like you focus on the bad things rather than yeah, the good yeah. like Kevin is one of the magic players as well and Kevin's cool yeah, he's I consider he, Kevin a Pokemon player. He's a unique person where he's he was a he is a Pokemon player, and that's how we met him. And then he was like, "Our oh, Magic team's fine. I'll play with you guys." Yeah, but he still yeah. plays within the thing. Sure, he's a part of that crew. And there's one or two of them that are there now that I'm like, "Oh, you guys are really cool." Um, but I will say this does not neglect any issues we have seen in Yu-Gi-Oh. A bunch of shit people and all of it. Just try not to like be that shit but we have seen like horrid things happen in both I suppose the other thing is too we weeded out a lot of the shit people from Yu-Gi-Oh as well because not only were they shit people they were shit players we were very self-contained we were very much like you gone I had a question the other day which is why don't we have such a great relationship with certain groups and I said that's because back in the day those groups had terrible people in them so we got rid of them that's just how we rolled not that the store could have done anything about it control your local game store make sure it's a safe environment Yes. Remember when that magic player got banned from our locals for saying, saying the N word once Multiple every two times. sentences and yep. then threatening to deport people? Yep. I just outed myself, he's going to deport me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Back to Germany he, with yeah, he's you. He's going to go back five <laughs> generations to send me back to Germany. <laughs> oh no. Um, I actually probably shouldn't fuck with that. <laughs> no. Do you remember that magic You're only player two that. Two generations. <laughs> Sorry, he could deport my parents. <laughs> Do you remember that magic player that like constantly hit on every person yeah. that was not interested? Yeah. He, he, look, how about we, look, to be fair, do you remember the sex tape that was posted on fucking uh, Zodiac Door list? No. Oh, really? wait, with, wait, yeah, with, oh, no, wait, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, okay. yeah, There's some egregious shit that's happened in both communities. So, the communities are toxic in different ways. Yes. And that toxicity you should not mix because that will create... Too much. 
nuclear oh. toxicity. For what it's worth, if people want to go to a thing, um, because there's a lot of parents in the game, Pokemon seems pretty good. Um, Pokemon is the healthiest environment, except for when you sit across from someone who is rather sweaty. Yes. And uh, takes way too long to play their full art monies. <sighs> yeah, no. No, thank you. No, thank you. Is this a reference I'm not getting? No. Google the card. Google yeah. the card. Google the card. Oh, wait, yeah. No, yeah. no, no, yeah. Um, okay, I'm with you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but, but yeah, um, back to the first part of the question. Oh, yeah, um, yeah there was yeah. a real question So look, there, Master right? Duel is definitely a alternative to the TCG if you don't want to spend the money. It's super low investment. Uh, you can just buy a deck and play that deck. Um, you can put a bit of money into it if you want a bit of variety. Um, yeah, so it's definitely an option. Um, the thing is, I guess, like you, the, the cost that you pay effectively is the format of what you play a it's not the format you would be playing if you were going to locals and b it's uh like set releases are behind as well so you don't have the most up-to-date product can i ask um are og nostalgic decks available in master Duel? like can people like bust out a dark magician deck or a blur deck very easily oh uh i think there's like ask a cost that. to it <laughs> like, okay. the, okay, like oh, dark cool, magician cool. and blue eyes are ultras so sure. you pay for them like um, you would any you other good card like food decks because because and one only second. two um because i could see like yeah so master Duel being a good kick for nostalgia like if you're you know similar age to us and we've had that comment kid. before like yeah, heaps of cool. people got back into it because they're like oh yeah i can play blue eyes in this and like i can get all the good cards for blue eyes that have come out over the past five years that i've not known about so like it's it's 100 percent an alternative it just depends on whether you are concerned with playing the most uh close thing to what you would be playing if you were playing in real life i think it's only, getting there though yeah it is i just think the only other thing to consider it might not be important to you but the thing you miss playing master Duel is locals locals as it is much, a social thing. As much shit as we've given, and we will give like both communities, the be some of the best people I've ever met have been through TCG stuff. So if you have one locally, and even if you want to play a shit tier deck, a lot of times, a lot of people are really lovely. You don't get it over Master Duel. You can't. There's not even a text chat for me to abuse my opponent. Anyway, you get players are really I lovely. I want to get abused. <laughs> I want someone to call me a degenerate while I <laughs> burn do them the for first 2K. burn for 3k. <laughs> The problem um, is it wouldn't just be like, oh, you're so mean. Like, when people decide to abuse you online, they go ham. <laughs> they, they do go in. I, I, yeah. I've been called some egregious things in Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that um, uh, we were playing uh, TFT with Lewis and I took somebody's thing and they said, I hope they hope my mother gets skull dragged and raped by wolves. And I was like, hey, yo, chill. I was like, chill. And they took their item and they were like, they had it typed out before the animation of me taking it was it's done. It's probably hotkey. Yeah. It's hotkey. I was just it's like, it's gotta be hotkey. Hey, yo, chill. The fact that that's their go to response, I don't know if that's better. I don't I know. Think, I think that's worse. I, I was like, okay. Uh, our next question comes from uh, Master Schwert. Um, why are blow cards in branded cost me about $100 less than Baronless Sword Soul Coal? Um, Core? Yeah, I'm tired. Um, the sword soul 10 year core that I'm missing 42 cards is 325 for context. Um, oh, okay. This is Mars lol. Okay, cool. Um, you asked so why prices yeah. are different. Jake yeah. skipped over the math. I need math. <laughs> no, no, no. We don't need No, math. it's not. I don't think the math is relevant. It's just why is sword soul so much more expensive than branded at the time? So yeah, structure Secrets. Yeah. Availability of cards. Yeah. For one, like, yeah. There's reprints of uh, branded already that Sword Soul won't be seeing until the tins. Um, B Baron was a single card in Baron. what was otherwise. I know, I know. Go on, let, let him have it. It's not Baron. That's not how the word Baron is spelled. So go fuck yourself. Anyway, there's an E there. Baron de Fleur. <laughs> Baron de Fleur. You gotta pronounce the E. It's Baron de Fleur. Baron de Fleur. Definitely. I won't be talked down to because I'm saying the word right. Go fuck yourself. No, but anyway, we're going to make fun of it because it's French. <laughs> True, we're racist. Um, <laughs> it's okay, they'll go back to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Barone is a one card. Baroni. <laughs> it is Baroni. <laughs> You're only allowed to say Baroni. Fuck off. I'll say what I like. I like that was a. Baroni pizza. <laughs> 
I just want to get through the comment. We have so much to do. <laughs> that card was only the only good card in that entire set, so it then became more expensive again. It was really hard to pull. Yeah, super hard to pull. Um, or just be like me, get two packs for entering a tourney and just get one. Yeah. <laughs> just buy one on release for 90 bucks. It's fine. There's yeah, that fair. too. Yeah. So, no, I actually think I paid a lot more than that. Yeah, and the entirety of Sword Soul, other than um, like some of the Tengi stuff and the Protoss, all came in one very chase set. Yeah. So to buy it on release cost you a whole lot more than what it did to co- buy this. And like Ben and I got in on the ground floor because we bought branded stuff well before the Structure Decks we was announced. It when it was coming out, like so the original we have, release. Yeah, we effectively paid the. Like, our cost of the core, roundabout, was what you then paid for the Aluba post-structure deck announcement. No, I, like, so I got the Alubas on launch. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah, so I paid, like, $30 per Aluba, I guess, yeah. Cause the cost yeah, that's what Aluba I mean, the core. Yeah 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 yeah, 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 you with me? Yeah, 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 right, yeah, yeah cool. I'm, like, I'm like, same page, same page, same page. <laughs> same page, yeah. same page. Um, I'm kind of still over here. I'll explain <laughs> in a second why and, I'm still over here. And I, I feel like that is what we'll see with Splite. We'll see, a, like, two, or if they really want to be dickheads, three secrets... Um, and then it will all be a hundred dollar secrets minimum. From what I've seen of what's I in supply, it might be the case to buy. Hopefully, it might be a fifty fifty thing of what they're splitting up. Because the other deck that people tend to have overlooked because of how much supply has uh, dominated the meta there is the going. tier elements, which oh, is an also op- a very good deck. Super good deck. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually looking very forward to playing it. It very looks fair. really fun. Um, so yeah like that could be a really cool set hopefully they do a bit of 50-50 but right, it'd yeah, also be yeah. cool if like tier element which seems to be again one of those higher tier decks from launch be super cheap I mean, in yep. the perfect world Splite's extra deck is secret rare yeah because you don't need three of each no you're absolutely right don't make any of the monsters secret that will be a pain yeah. in the ass. In the executive decision I want to say executive decision. In, in executive decision. <laughs> executive decision. I'm gonna buy a case of this. Um, oh. I think it's the case to buy if, especially we get, do, especially if the monsters. Are... Do we know if there's any like generically good cards in that set? I can't think of any off the top of my head. I don't remember. But, like, even if there yeah. isn't, if there is money, sick. I really want to play Splite, so it's fine. Hell yeah, no problems. Um, before we move to the next question. I have a hypothetical question okay. for myself. You know how Travis Scott had the Travis Scott burger at McDonald's? Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you reckon we can get a deal going on Pizza Hut or Domino's to have a baroni pizza? B- baroni pizza? It's a bacon and pepperoni pizza. And it comes with a single pack of uh, Secret Storm. Yeah, it's a baroni pizza. Yeah. I think that we should get the baroni pizza going. Hashtag baroni Everyone pizza. Everyone here, I want you to go to the socials for Pizza Hut and Domino's. I want you to get this brand pizza. deal going. Yes. Cowboy for game, X, whichever pizza place wants us, <laughs> yeah, we literally, pizza. literally don't care if it's a ha ha sick. Yes. So, I, we go down to Zaha, I go, mate. Mate, we've trust me. It's trust the Brody pizza. Trust me. You will get 10 people from our locals. <laughs> yes. Next question comes from Random Dude 63 Yep. Hey, thanks for answering my somewhat poorly phrased question on the note taking, but here's a simpler one. Do you think Despiers now pick up three structures no. and goes from the past singles worthy of oh. being a good deck now for Maybe. starting and new players like how you guys can pick comparing it to dinos um also i have a similar local story of somebody trying to come uh claim they won because they kept track of life points different to me since i wrote them down and they were using a calculator and didn't keep track fully and thought they won in time due to having higher life right um yeah paper beats calculator um, but yeah, back to the first part. Um, yeah, like you, you can definitely yeah, actually, make a yeah. playable version of it with yes. the, the structures and the bits and pieces from the reprint set. The only counter to that is branded OP is the one thing you really need. You can get by without Bernie McDragon. Um, Bernie McDragon is really funny though. Bernie McDragon is pretty good, but you do kind of need the branded openings as well. And when they're now thirty dollars each, yeah, it, makes it, it hurts. But it's, it's like, the really tricky thing in this game is sometimes like just being in it for longer is just beneficial. Yes, it's like because you have all your toad shit, and now it's come back into that thing where like, oh, toad is not only just fun now; it's also Good. meta. Yep. Um, and uh, again, like I just said, we bought dollars. 
yeah <laughs> and again we bought into the despia stuff well before it was going to be yeah. a good thing um and like that's just the thing with Oh. that because you have old stuff old stuff comes back in every so often whereas in pokemon after two years that deck is dead it's all it's only items that people care about also this was our, our entire relationship with brag for the first five years of playing this game brag was like yeah i've got them yeah i've got these yeah i've got these like any time any card was relevant again or a deck was relevant that used a key piece if a deck came out that used like e-tally and high road e-tallies or before e-tally had a million printings brag was like yeah i got secrets and you're like what um it just just having stuff works especially generically good cards sometimes they just as i said i'm sure as you said when spike comes out there'll be a version of the deck that's just like or the main deck we play is just level twos so i'm sure i won't be shocked to see if there's like some spells or something that summons things that skyrocket because of it yeah um but yeah you can definitely Big play thing. a version of this deck E-tally. just fine with what's available um i suppose the problem is like to play the absolute best version of the deck you've got branded openings you've got uh guarding chimera which is oh, like your yes. off turn interaction you do need guarding chimera that's a must i wouldn't say it's a must but it's definitely it, to play a very competent uh, version of the deck i'd say it's it, pretty important it's almost necessary like it, it's a necessity like when you think of fundamentally what the standard combo is for that deck it involves guarding Chimera going into... So you go Chimera into Ad Libidum, summoning back your, your Banish. Yeah, but there's other things you can do to compensate for that. You don't have to summon Chimera. You can summon anything. But then you summon Bernie McBurney. And we've just justified not buying Bernie McBurney. Yeah, there, there, there are other things, though. Like, there's other Despia. You can summon Kietis. You can summon the big, the big Despia as well. The big Despia is really funny. Especially in the mirror. It's just so good. Because it's removal and it's draws. Which is why it's money it's though, right? Such a good card. Like, that's why it's money. Like, but it, I, in the grand scheme of like, what are you buying first? Is the question. I would say it's playable, but don't expect to like win a competitive locals. Yeah, it's not going to be like an EXO profile level deck. It's going to yeah. be like, oh yeah, if I got some wins off the Dark Magician dude. And yeah had struggles against and again you get to learn the deck then if you like the deck and you want to invest yeah. more in it yeah, yeah, yeah. they're your price points yeah. that, that's i wouldn't go spending more than that to learn the deck yeah yeah 100 percent. just give it a go see if you like how it plays and then you've got the guardian come here to buy you've got again the openings yeah and uh, get alibis from the does burst Gosh of destiny past. fall into the tin reprint no era? burst yes. of destiny does yes, it does but come not in there it's um Chimera was in Battle of Chaos, Battle of Chaos. this year oh, which will two. not be getting reprinted till next year uh, I, that's why I randomly have uh, Chimeras because I was like always buy February set product yep even when it's initially bad um, shut up Advent was in we it. all knew it was Advent going was in to it. become good also, not Illusion buying it when it. it was $40 was not smart that's fair um, last question comes to us from Crobat5 Hey, um, let's go Crobat Actually, Crobat V. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, here's another podcast question. With the ban list possibly being released in the near future, what are your thoughts on Konami hitting the DPE problem? Will they ban Anaconda no. or will they limit part of the combo like putting uh, Fusion Destiny to one copy? We've um, looked at different we, approaches to yes. this. Um, we already discussed it. Anaconda. Anaconda, I've addressed Anaconda, you've addressed... I'm Fusion Destiny to 1. Fusion Destiny to 1. I don't like it. So, my my only thing with that is, um, I don't like the amount of... You know what? No. Give me out. No, no. Both. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to make a sweepy declaration. My opinion is based on PTSD from Konami, and I won't take this abuse anymore. I'm with Ben. Fuck you. Well, the reason why I said Your Anaconda to Zero, says Anaconda I know. Zero. The reason why I said that, and I've just realized that, is I have been absolutely, like, smashed into me that, no, you're not allowed to have generic support for decks where multiple decks can just put two monsters on the board and create a thing. That's Konami's fault. They have made me feel this way. I don't feel that way. <laughs> Fuck off. Generic support in my brain has to be banned. It has to be banned. There's just the way it always is. I'm over it. Fusion Destiny to one. Fuck this. Both. <laughs> Why? Did you have both? No. Okay. Neither. It's not that much of a problem. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry yeah. that your blue eyes deck struggles to beat a pop. <laughs> <laughs> but 
<laughs> oh, deck died. Sorry. Sorry. Have a good time. Look, at the end of the day... And also, if Scythe is gone, there's no, like, uh, pop yeah, the Scythe. Yeah, like, like, that's the interaction that people are getting problem. so triggered yeah. on is the Scythe DPE thing. If Scythe isn't there, again, it's just a pop. Can you imagine they don't ban Scythe? It'd be so stupid. Well, the thing that worries me about it, right, is like they it was an it. issue a few months ago, but now that like branded is taking over the like higher things of topping, like the, don't get me wrong, it's still in the top, but like because branded is winning and it is such a fusion involved deck, my concern is that they'll be like, ah, oh, does it really need to be hit? Your concern is that their QA is not good enough to pick up. Oh, we're just going to look at what we think is good and not what we think is yes. unfun to play against. Yeah. Because that is very unfun. Like, it just is. Yes. And I think that should be a big part of game design here, where they, like, look at just what is shit to, for two people to sit across from each other and go, wow, this sucks. That's why I'm almost over birds. When they sit down and they're doing, like, R&D at Konami, they need to be like, what would make this magic player flip a table? <laughs> yes. And I mean, need to worry about what magic people do. Yeah, all magic players flip tables. So, if you judge things based on the flippability of the table, <laughs> yeah. fine. And like how big the table is. Yeah, like is some small if, magic if players could flip this table. If they're real mad, they're they gonna go. flip that table. Yeah. If I flip their thing face down and they're still in the barrier statue, are they gonna hit me? Yes or no? If you tell a magic player, no. Like, what's the equivalent of getting scythed in magic? Uh, all your mana tunnel. are shuffled back into deck. For the next three turns. <laughs> no. Then they'd flip the table. Yeah, yeah. They'd be like, mm. Tell me there's not a car that actually does that. Yeah, they're all banned. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. I just made that up. But okay. no, not similar stuff where like there's there's combos that nobody cares. I don't care. It's fucking magic. Who cares? Flip table. Flippability of table. That is how Konami does R&D. Um, but that concludes us for questions for this week's podcast. As I said, feel free to ask us below if you have any questions. Otherwise, that will uh, conclude us for tonight, unless we yes. have anything else to bring up. Um, but yeah, leave leave your family stuff in the comments. Uh, yes. One of us will, like, I'll either use my personal or we can comment on it and you can call us idiots, that's fine. I don't comment on YouTube. That's fair. That's a very good policy. He doesn't reply to his fans. It's a very good policy. I, I have to stop. Yeah. No, it's just not on. I've I've argued with people about one or two stree one like, too many times. If you want to have a civil discussion with me, there is links to places to find me in the description. Or I can YouTube, tell you where I don't know why I'm saying it. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube comments is not one of them. Yeah, or, yeah, or, yeah. We're at the end of the podcast, but that random person going to work the other day. <laughs> I was going to raise that at the start. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, we didn't talk about this. you. Confused no. me. I don't like you because you said a dragon maids are bad. <laughs> um, Ignoring that, if you do, you know, I somebody brought it up to me the other day that they watched the podcast and I was, they were like, it's really cool. And I went, thanks. I appreciate that. That is the all the interaction has to be. If I got told it was really cool and the Dragon Maid sucks. And I was like, thank that's you. Fair. I don't like you. That's, okay, that's right. completely fair. Since we're I bringing, appreciate it a lot. Since we're bringing up um, visibility on the podcast as yes. a thing, I was at um, my school friend's uh, place for dinner last night. Okay. And, um, they like pass me something and they they go here you go cowboy and I was like that was weird that mm. and then he said it again and I'm like I think I know what's going on here I, I, I some, and someone found Jake on the podcast yeah so he had COVID a couple of weeks ago what and was king. scrolling through YouTube and then it came up as like a recommended video oh he's like, let's go recommend. three years ago he's been doing this for three years and we haven't known <laughs> Jake, Jake hides this from his other friends. He does, he does. I don't hide you from other friends. I hide me from other friends. Compartmentalise. Nobody knows anything. Yeah, that's No one can fair. give secrets that they don't know. He hides his empty booster packs under his chair in his car. I'm chasing Barone! Actually, oh, I don't hide that that well either. Because the fucking girl I was taking on the first day found it immediately. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I buy them for my cousin. He loves it. It's them. got Barone inside. It's got Barone! <laughs> it's got Barone! <laughs> Woman, you don't understand. It's a free negate of anything. It's and it goes free. great with cheese. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>